here we have the Nanmu Blood Knight, which is basically the male Velociraptor from Jurassic Park 3. So let's take a quick look at the box here. You have some pretty cool box art here. Nice picture of the male Velociraptor here on the front of the box. And another picture on the back. And if we actually open up the box here, you can see the figure inside with another picture of the Velociraptor there. We'll get this figure out of the box. So you do have this background that comes in the box, which you can take out if you want to display your figure with this background. Here I've taken the Velociraptor out of the box and you can have a quick look at it here in its plastic tomb. And I have to say, it does look really nice. I'm going to get it completely out of this plastic and we will have a much closer look at the figure. We'll start off by taking a look at the head of the figure. So, if you've seen the Jurassic Park 3 film, you can see this looks exactly like the Velociraptor we see in that film. So this is meant to be the male Velociraptor from the film. You can see the quality on this is, is really amazing. So you got the nice red there on the uh, on the crest here. You got the quills as well. You do have an articulated jaw, which, if you can see the inside of the mouth, there does look very nice. A good amount of detail in there. The jaw is a bit loose, so I'm worried about it just opening up by itself over time, but. We'll have to wait and see if that happens. But yeah, it does the head looks really nice here. You do have movement here, articulation in this portion of the head, so you can move up and down, left and right. So the neck is in three segments here. So you've got another joint here which helps with movement and posing. We'll take a look at the rest of the body of the figure. Pretty much exactly as you see the Velociraptor in that film. I'm really blown away by the detail on this. And you've got the red on the tip of the tail there. Also some red on the feet and claws. So we'll have a look at the articulation a bit more. So like I said earlier, the neck is in three sections as you can see here which allows for good amount of motion good amount of posability here torso as well is posable so you can move it left and right the arms can move up and down and you've got a, a bend at the elbow there on the arm no articulation on the claws but you do you can move the wrists about and on the feet here so that part is on the bend here so you can move that back and forward you do actually have articulation on this sickle claw here and a bend at the knee the upper leg and hips you can move out back and forward as you would want and looking at the tail, it is in two sections here. So you've got this little base part here. And then this part actually comes separate in the box. So you just got to plug that in. But this whole section of the tail, apart from this little bit at the end, is on a bendy wire. So you can bend that to any sort of shape you would want. 
I am really blown away by this figure. His first impressions, it looks fantastic. We'll get him into a few poses and see how he is in terms of posability. I'm curious to find out if I can actually get him to stand on his legs. They do look a bit small. Wonder if they will be able to stand the support the weight of the figure, but we'll have a look and we'll see if we can get him to stand. As you can see here, I have managed to get him standing. Now it did take a bit of time to get him in a pose where he can stand. But he seems pretty balanced for now. Was really difficult to get him to stand. To help with that, Nan would do include a stand for the figure. It is very loose though, so the base just attaches like that. The top bit just pops off like that. It's not held in very securely, but to be honest, it shouldn't really pop off. Oh no, there he goes. Didn't stay standing for long. I'll keep him down for a second. But this base does have these raised parts here on the side to stop it, stop it from coming out. So it should help support the figure. But if you're planning on displaying this, you're definitely going to need the stand. Because it's not going to stay standing on its own for too long, as you saw there. But do have to say is a awesome figure. What we'll do is we'll compare him to a few other figures that I have and we'll see how they compare in terms of size with other sort of articulated dinosaur figures. Here we have the Velociraptor pose next to two of the beasts of the Mesozoic figures. Got the Gorgosaurus here on the left and the Albertosaurus here on the right. You can see how they are next to each other in terms of scale. Now these, these do look pretty cool together. These being other two articulated dinosaur figures. Obviously the beasts of the Mesozoic figures are meant to be more scientifically accurate. But obviously this one's from a movie and very faithful sculpt to that film. You can see how they compare in terms of size. Wouldn't say they're they're in scale. I don't think they are anyway. But you can have fun posing them with these two figures. Let's take these guys away. I don't have a lot of Velociraptor figures, but I do have this really old one from Rebor. This is their uh, Winston uh, Velociraptor figure. It is inspired from the Velociraptor you see in the, uh, the first Jurassic Park film. Very old, but still, still a very nice looking figure. It's got poseable arms and articulated jaw. And you can see the sculpt is quite faithful to that movie. There you go. Um, you can see them both together and see how they compare in terms of scale. See this being a much larger figure. Overall, this is an amazing figure. The sculpt, the coloration are extremely faithful to what you see in the movie. It's like having one of the raptors straight out of the film in your hands. It just blows me away with the amount of detail on this figure. Really have to praise Nammu for essentially bringing that Velociraptor to life in our hands. It does have a good amount of articulation as well. So you can get the Raptor into any sort of pose that you'd see in the movie. We don't really have a lot of, well, I don't think we have any posable. Jurassic Park figures, this sort of quality. You do have the Mattel lines, the Hammond collection, and the um, the older Amber collection. 
which I do have the uh, the Raptor from The Lost World and the first Jurassic Park film. And but I didn't get the um, the Raptor for the third film, and I am glad now because I've got I've got this. But you know, comparing those figures to this, it just blows them out the water. There's no there's no comparison. This is the Raptor from the film. There's nothing else like it. Some of the things that I'd like to see improved on this figure for some of the next releases would be um, definitely the stability and posability of the figure without the support stand. It is, well, it can be a bit of a pain to pose the figure without the use of the support stand, but after playing about with the figure for a while, I have managed to get it to stand in a reasonable pose without using the support stand. I'll put a picture up here so you guys can have a look. So it is 100% possible to pose this and have it standing without the support stand. It will it is a little bit tedious, um, but it is definitely possible. Would also like to see slightly tighter joints on this figure um specifically the jaw i feel like mine is a bit looser than i would like I'm not sure if many other people have the same issue it could just be the one that i have is just slightly slightly more loose in the jaw but that would be something that i'd like to see like to see improved but if it's not if it's just something with my figure then it's just a quality issue on this particular figure but if many other people have the same issue i'm sure nami will improve that on their their next um release of the figure i would also like to see some articulation in the claws i think that would be a good addition to have on the figure if they can't do that then maybe some interchangeable hands might be a good idea um i'd definitely like some some more options with the claws here on the figure also there is a bit of paint chipping off some of the joints on this figure um it seems to be sort of flaking off i'll put up some pictures so you can have a look um i would like to see less of this i'm, I'm not sure what they can do to to stop this from happening with movable joints but it does distract a little bit from the from the sculpt when you have paint chipping off the, the joints here. I think this is the first figure in Namu's Smart series line where they're doing a bunch of posable posable figures which I really love. Um seeing some of Namu's models, they're very, very good quality, as you can see. From this model in front of us here the sculpt is amazing and really really want to see more raptors from jurassic park brought to life like namu have done here and we do actually have some good news on that um i was looking at their page on facebook and they have actually announced that they are releasing some more raptor figures the next releases will be called shadow blade and tiger blade now going off the names i'd say it's pretty safe to say these are going to be the raptors from the first film and the second film which i'm really excited for i really love the look of the tiger striped raptors and having a poseable figure in the same sort of quality as we have here of raptors from the other films is something that i definitely want to see so i am very very happy about that and really looking forward to seeing more of those raptors and we also have confirmation that they will be improving the sculpts on these on these models of improved range of motion and improved stability I would 100% recommend this figure to any Jurassic Park fan out there. 
me being a huge fan of the films myself, I'm very, very happy to have this figure in hand. So you do have the choice of either going for this version of the Raptor, the male or the female, or you can even get both. Me being really blown away by this figure has made me think about getting the female Raptor as well. And I am definitely looking forward to having more of these Raptors in my collection. And we really have to praise Namu here for bringing these Raptors to life. I'm excited to see the other Raptors and can't wait to get them in my collection. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.